Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching our earwax removal compilation video today. So we've got two patients in this compilation video. Uh, this first patient you can see has got this quite hard, thicker plug. And this is sitting in the lateral portion of the ear canal. Now, lateral and medial, this is one term you'll hear us use a lot when we talk about ear canals and audiology and bits and pieces. It's really simple. Medial sounds like middle, that's going to be the center, okay? That's the center of your body, if you like. Uh, lateral is, means the outer part. So when we talk about a lateral portion or medial portion of the ear canal, lateral means outer ear canal, medial means closer to the eardrum, middle, getting closer to that middle section, okay? So this plug here is in the lateral portion of the ear canal. What we've got here is a quite a dry plug of wax you could see there that came away. Um, now it's quite common to get drier wax in that lateral portion of the ear canal because by that point the wax has migrated from that deeper medial portion all the way to the outer portion, uh, that lateral portion of the ear canal. And what's happened then, as it goes along, it should pick up a little bit of uh, oil, basically, that's just produced by a few cells on this outer part of the ear canal here. And then that softens up both the skin and the wax. But sometimes, as we get a little bit older, we don't produce as much of that oil, and the wax tends to dry, okay? So we get that drying effect. And that's what's happened with this skin here as well. By the time, don't forget, we talked about this conveyor belt motion of these epithelial cells, so moving off the ear forming the canal wall skin going from medial to lateral and what's going to happen then is when it gets to that outermost portion that lateral portion of the ear canal what's going to happen then is it's going to have dried out a little bit by that point so that keratin that protein that's inside these epithelial cells is really drying you can see it's hardened up here really toughened up that skin now we've got the fine jaw crocodile forceps on here this is a personal preference i prefer to use fine jaw crocodile forceps i know a lot of the other guys will use things like hengel forceps alligator forceps I just find I get more use out of a fine jaw, so I, I just tend to use fine jaw forceps a lot. Um, so we're just taking this away. You can really see that layer of skin going all the way into that medial portion of the ear canal there, so quite deep in there as well. So I'm not going to throw too many uh, technical terms in this one because I did kind of overwhelm you guys just a little smidge uh, towards the end of the last video. But there's a couple of things I want you to take away. Lateral and medial is the first thing. The second is how we identify left and right on an eardrum, which we'll show you in a second now. So we've got the fine end on here. Great for taking away these little bits of skin, little bits of drier debris. There's the eardrum there. Now we can, we're gonna look at two things on the eardrum. We're gonna look at the long process, the malleus, that sort of diagonal white line, and the pearl at the top is the short process. Now, if that long process and short process are like the hands of a clock, okay? So imagine 12 o'clock's right at the top. If they're pointing to sort of 10 or 11 o'clock, that's a left eardrum. If they're pointing up towards one o'clock, two o'clock, that's a right eardrum, okay? That's the basics. That's all I want you to sort of get the hang of at the minute. We're going to become a little bit more technical with some of the terminology of how we identify different portions of the eardrum, but that's really important for you to get down first. So lateral, outer, medial, middle, if it's pointing, if the, the long process and short process are pointing up towards the right, up towards that one o'clock mark, right eardrum, pointing up towards the left, 11 o'clock mark, left eardrum. Okay, got it? Fabulous stuff. There is a quiz. I've put a poll on the community section, not necessarily about what we're doing today, but what we've covered over the last two videos. Have a go at answering it. See how well, see how well you do. It's only one question, but have a go. I want to know. Um, so we can see here, we've got this really dry section using this very slight wiggling motion here to get this out. The reason for that, see it just jarred just a little bit as we pulled that out. There's a little piece of skin that's dried into both the wax and onto the canal wall here. So as we take this away, you'll really see that long strip of skin there. Just at the back end, you can really see that kind of hanging off that one side of the, uh, the wax plug there. Wax is looking very dry. What eardrum is this, guys? Where is that pointing to? Is it pointing to 11 o'clock or 1 o'clock? There you go, it's a left eardrum. Well done, guys, well done. So you can see this part here, so we've got just over three, well, just over three, between three and three and a half centimeters, but just under an inch and a quarter, I'm gonna call that if we include the skin cells. But you can really see those long strips of dry skin and that really tough old wax plug you can see there. Guys, don't forget, if you've actually learned something new that you didn't know before about an ear canal or wax or anything else today, don't forget to hit that like button, that follow button, uh, and you can hit the subscribe button or the heart button, depending on which platform you're watching this on.
So this is the second patient in the compilation. We can see a much softer wax. Now don't forget, people are genetically predisposed to one or either type of wax. Some people produce dry, some people produce wet. This one's a bit of an anomaly. What we have here though, is this sort of wetter wax here at the entrance, more than likely a little bit more wet because patients have been using some olive oil to soften this up. But if you take a look now as we pull this out, we've actually got a little skin, there you go. So we have this blob of wax on the one side, a blob on the other, and this little sort of sleeve of skin in the middle that was holding those two pieces together. So the patient on first glance didn't look like they were gonna have too much of an issue because I could see a gap through the wax. Hang on a sec, which eardrum guys? Have a look now when we go back to it. Are we pointing to one o'clock or are we pointing to 11 o'clock? Yeah, it's a left eardrum. <laughs> <laughs> if you go past looking at the haze, I'm freaking out today. Um, so you can see it's one centimeters worth of wax, just under, or oh, just over, I should say, sorry, half an inch there. Yeah, but if, um, I forgot my train of thought, but I got distracted with what Citro was doing. But basically, it came out really easy. Patient here a lot better. Um, guys, yes, if you do enjoy these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow, heart, whichever one it is you want to do. Um, don't forget to check out the little poll question on the community tab. Go in and answer that one. See if you get it right for me. I'll be checking it out before tomorrow's video just to see how you get on. Uh, and as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another. What have you got to remember from today? Lateral, medial, right, left. There you go. Well done. Bye, everyone.